Hello cool X, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Barca Universal. Barcelona are back in La Liga action and take on Cadiz at the Camp Nou here. We've all had a few days off after that disaster against PSG and the mood I think is a little bit low right now. But it is time to go back to the league to hopefully win some games. So let's get started with today's match preview. And this one, as briefly mentioned there, will be coming to us live from the Camp Nou. We've had quite a few home matches of late after that a month away in January or we were just not playing at the Camp Nou at all. So hopefully we can start winning some home matches, getting some confidence back. But the thing you guys have to look out for for this one is the 2pm local time kickoff. So don't get fooled out here. This isn't going to be in the evening. It is an earlier kickoff. So watch out. But let's kick start here with Barcelona for this fix to the home side. And I think as briefly mentioned there, the mood, it's quite low right now. And honestly, why wouldn't it be? We've been battered in Europe again. The morale is on the floor. And that is going to be tough to deal with now. I think obviously for us fans, we've had it a lot now over the past few years. But also for the players, we've probably seen that in recent weeks in the Champions League. We just can't compete right now. The team, it feels on the floor. The lack of confidence, morale in the side, it's hurting this side. And as I said, I think we can definitely see that. And just in the general complexion of the season, I think that could make it even harder for us to get motivated for tomorrow's game. We've already been beaten badly midweek. If you look at what we're doing right now this season, the Super Cup we lost, the Copa del Rey, it looks difficult to overturn. We will go for that, of course, but Sevilla, they're not just going to let us walk four goals over them easily, are they? So that's certainly going to be a difficult game. Then you've got, of course, the humiliation against PSG, guys. And you do worry that with everything going on right now, the players are going to be feeling a bit low and that they will feel a little bit unmotivated, if you like, to actually go out there tomorrow's game and win it. And the same goes for the rest of the season. What are we really pushing for the league? So that will be an interesting one. But I think I would say two things here going into tomorrow's game. One, we're Barcelona, so we have to get back up. We have to show our faces again to the fans. We have to start winning games again, especially following a defeat like that one. We have to go out there challenge this team to win the game, keep the pressure on, and really make things count. And I say keep the pressure on because if you look at the league table, guys, yes, we're far off. We probably won't win it, but we've actually won all seven of our league games so far in 2021. Atletico are starting to falter themselves, and there is plenty of football left to play this season. So I do challenge the team there to go out there, win again, keep the pressure on, and just see where we end up. But I think also going into tomorrow's game, the reaction that we will be looking for is going to be absolutely key, of course. We all will want to be seeing that from the players, really going out there and making amends for that game against PSG. But I think also, guys, we're all absolutely desperate to see some new faces in the lineup. I'm talking about players like Ricky Puch, Trencao, certainly Mingueza at the back. And if players like Elix and Conrad had been picked for this game, which they haven't, by the way, then I'm sure all of us would have liked to have seen those guys too. But I think on top of wanting some players to come in, we certainly also want some players out. I think players like Longley, Busquets, even BK, you know, the fans, have almost had enough of them right now. So that will be interesting to see if Koeman plays them out there again, lets them redeem themselves, or does draft a few others in. So with that in mind, this is the lineup I would probably be playing for tomorrow's game against Caddy. Testegan, of course, will be in goal. At left back, I'd play Alba. At right back, I'd play Dest. I think this could be a big game for Dest, actually. Time to get some confidence back. Time for him to become Barca's established right back for a few games in a row now. Let's get Dest out there. Let's get him some football. Hopefully get him some confidence. Jordi Alaba I'd keep up there. Uh, he didn't play against Alaves. It wasn't awful against PSG. Didn't have much to deal with with Mbappe on the left, but let's keep Alaba out there. We'll help us hopefully win the game. In defence, I've played Piqué and Mingetha. I don't really want to play him Titi. I don't really want to play Longley. So that's why I've put those two there. Mingetha definitely deserves to start. And despite Piqué getting quite a lot of stick, I was decently impressed with them against PSG. In midfield, I think we can probably all agree we should be seeing something like this. De Jong, I think, in the pivot role with Ricky Puch and Pedri as the interiors would be something the fans would definitely like to see. It's very fresh. It's very young. Hopefully, it gives us creativity against this low block Cadiz. And then up front, guys, I've kept Griezmann and Messi and I've drafted into Trincao. I think Dembélé uh, disappointed quite a lot of us fans in that game against PSG. So maybe bringing Trincao in there for another match isn't so much of a bad idea. But of course, away from Barcelona's recent woes, we cannot forget about our opposition in Cadiz, who I think we all agree are one of our Liga's lower sides. You know, that is an absolute fact. They come into the season, we weren't really expecting much from them. They probably lack a lot of quality all over the pitch, as many sides do towards the bottom of La Liga. And despite their impressive start to the season, guys, Cadiz have dropped right off. Because I think we all remember when Cadiz actually beat Barcelona 2-1 at their home ground back in December. And of course, they also beat Real Madrid a couple of months before that. But since that sort of period, Cadiz have really dropped off. And in their last five matches, guys they picked up just one point albeit a good opposition but they have started leaking goals they're in 15th in the league now and of course guys we come into this match at the Camp Nou as clear favorites to beat them but of course we must be wary we certainly must be because I think we all agree 
that defeat to Cadiz was probably one of our worst this season. It was a, a really stressful game. It was not pleasant to watch Cadiz sat in such a low block and it was just painful to try and get past. And then you look at our defence, guys. So many individual errors there. I believe, you know, there was an awful thread from Alaba. Then Longley miscontrolled it. Then to Stegen uh, punted it against someone's leg and they walked it into an empty net. You look at the Mingetha headed and then he went into his own net and then, you know, they just bashed it over the goal line. Some crazy defensive errors on our part that we've been seeing all season. That happened in the Cadiz match away from home. So we've got to make sure we're focused here we're sharp enough to get the three points especially with our current mood right now you know we might not be that pleased going through this game as i just mentioned so it is important we keep up pace with real with atletico and of course high flying sevilla so with all of that in mind my match prediction for tomorrow's game is going to be barcelona three Cadiz nil. I'm hoping we can get a clean sheet here. We haven't actually got a clean sheet since we beat Elche 2-0 on the 24th of January. So I'm hoping Barcelona can get the win and a clean sheet. I've gone for 3-0. Perhaps a little optimistic with everything that's gone on this week. I've just drilled home about how low we could be feeling right now. And then I've gone and predicted a 3-0 win. Perhaps a little contradictory. But what I see in Cadiz is, yes, they're a good defensive side. But I don't think they're going to be able to hold out at the large pitch that is the Camp Nou. And I think in attack, guys, they just don't really have much going for them up there. Players like Negredo can cause some issues, sure. But I think if there's a team in Barcelona should be keeping a clean sheet against it is someone like Cadiz you know we've got to watch out for set pieces but with Piquet back there we should be all right and then let's let the attack do the talking we've got plenty of exciting players on the pitch you know Lionel Messi of course Griezmann hopefully can get some goals back to his name Trincao's on really good form Ricky Butch and Pedri in midfield we've got Frankie De Jong there too uh, Destin Alba hopefully will be very advanced all game long so look we've got good players here to beat Cadiz I'm hoping it'll be a good performance a bounce back win from Barcelona let's see what we get so please do leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below as I wrap up this video it's not the longest match brief i think we're all feeling a little bit down right now but for barcelona there certainly are some things we want to be seeing the reaction the performance also some new players let's hope we get the three points if we don't win tomorrow's game you do wonder what the backlash will be so look for barcelona let's keep the pressure up i expect atletico and real to win this this week in la liga so we've got to make sure we do our jobs i'll see you guys after the game there of course in the afternoon spanish time so goodbye